Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be doing another World's Worst Tattoos. Uh, yeah, I don't really feel like doing an intro today, so let's just get into the video. This is World's Worst Tattoos number 190. Let's do it. Oh, and stay tuned for the end of the video where one of your fan tattoos made it in. Was it you? Or was it you? Or was it you? Or was it you? I don't know. You gotta stay to the end. Hey, what's up? First, we'll start with uh, what they wanted versus what they got. Here's what these people wanted. A big black butterfly heart that's bleeding. Cool. Here's what they got. A blue butt. Wow, it's a blue butt with, uh, what are those little tiny ghosts escaping from it? This is not the same quality. I know in your mind you're probably trying to justify it like, no, it's a great tattoo, don't worry. Don't ever put it side by side to some actual art or <laughs> you're gonna be real sad. Oh, and this is just so much dark ink that it's probably gonna be hard to cover up. You know, you can maybe turn it into like, I don't know, like a big gorilla sitting there with its butt, you know, like sitting there turned around and that that's its butt, like the gorilla butt, you know, yeah. Or you just tell people it's a gorilla butt, and then you won't have to get it covered up. Oh, here's another uh, what they wanted versus what they got. I like these ones. Okay, here's an amazing Pirates of the Caribbean tattoo. Top notch. You spent some money. Congratulations. And then someone was like, hey, I could get that done too. And then they tried, and oh my shit, what the... Oh, wow. It looks like you got a zombie tree. You see the difference between a good artist and a bad artist, okay? Or the difference between an artist and a not artist. I guess you could consider this one art, like abstract art. It is art, it's just if you're trying to do a portrait of something specific and that person isn't as, they're not a good enough artist to specifically capture that portrait, then go to someone else, spend some money. You probably saved some money going to this person, right? Yeah, <laughs> never again. Here's uh, some sort of animal turned into a tank. Cool, it looks like a guinea pig, but I'm pretty sure it's not. It's like a wombat or something maybe, I don't know. I like to imagine that on some planet, this is what their tanks look like. Or maybe there's wombats or guinea pigs that have giant cannons coming out of their foreheads. It's not a planet I want to live on. Could you imagine those squeaky little bastards also shooting at you? Okay, and now this person made the right choice. They got a face tattoo that wasn't very nice. So they decided, hey, this is a crappy tattoo. I'm going to get it covered up. But again, when you get a cover up, you got to find an artist that knows how to do a cover up because that just looks worse. Honestly, the bottom half, that's eh, not so bad, but you added so much to the tattoo. Did you have to do your whole cheek? The only part that really looks good is the cheek because it's a fresh canvas. So I feel like that part looks all right, but the rest of it literally just looks like you covered up a snake. <laughs> it still looks kind of like a snake, but now it's just like a blacked out snake. You're like you, It's still the same shape. It's still, it's not a cover up, okay? It's just a silhouette now. It looks bad. They both look bad, okay? Ugh, face tattoos. What a choice. And then you were like, you know what? I already messed up one face tattoo. Why don't I try to cover more of my face with a tattoo? <laughs> okay, well, you know what? If you're happy, I'm happy. Whatever. I'm so happy for you. I don't know what in the hell this is. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a mother deer spooning her child deer or some sweet motherly child bond thing. But honestly, all I'm seeing is like a deer that was too close to a power plant and now it's a conjoined deer and it's probably just like going around like, kill me, like that's what I see. I see a deformed beast. This is a cryptic. It's gonna be roaming the countryside and I'm gonna be like, did you see that? Deer, that two-headed deer that also had a deer head coming out of its butt. Did you see that two-headed deer roaming the countryside? It kept asking me to kill it, but I was like, no, dude, I, I don't even know you. Here's someone who got a dog on the back of their head. And it's probably a tribute to a dog, and this isn't the worst tattoo I've ever seen, but the placement is so weird. It's like when you turn around and you like pull your shirt up, like if you wear a turtleneck at first glance, it just looks like some strange dog walking around wearing a turtleneck. I don't know, this one's growing on me. I guess it's this stare. The dog looks like it's trying to seduce me. Put your tongue back in your mouth. Stop it. 
Stop looking at me like that, dog. Okay, here's a woman who made some seriously bad choices with her tattoos. Uh, first she's got the lower back tattoo that says Community Girl. Oh, I wonder what that means. I don't know. Let's see if we can suss it out by reading her other tattoos. Here's one that says Pretty Little Dumpster. Do I have to read that word? Oh, and uh, the new tattoo she's getting just says Add Dick. Okay, apparently she's very proud of this. So she got tattoos all over her body. I just, ugh. What do you think a tattoo artist, like if you're a tattoo artist out there and you gotta put one of these tattoos on a girl, how do you feel about that? Does it just make you laugh? Does it make you cringe? Does it make you feel like, oh, this person's making a horrible choice, but they're paying me. <laughs> it must be a little conflicting. That's too much. It's too far. Here's a huge tattoo, and I have no idea what it says, but it's okay, because this little conversation explains it. What does it say? Volkswagen. Cool! Oh, that's what it says. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I totally see it now. I just have to, like, squint my eyes and, like, cross them. And then, like, slap myself on the side of the head, and oh, there it is. I see it now. Ooh, a Metallica tattoo. They wanted this little Metallica picture and oh shit. The person doing the tattoo like legit didn't even notice that this guy has a goatee. I can't even remember what his name, like lead singer Metallica or whatever. He's got a goatee and you you shaved him. Now I'm starting to see why he has such a big goatee. Look at that weak chin, man. Oh, the hands. Oh, stop trying to do hands if you can't do hands. Not an artist, just a tattooer. Live. Am who your I am truth? I hate these ones. I hate when people try to put two sentences into one sentence like this. So it says, live your truth. And then I guess if you read it down, it says, I am who I am are. I am who I am are. Maybe it's, it's a Popeye, like I am's who I am's are. Like it's a Popeye saying maybe. I am's who I am's. Yeah, it makes more sense if you say it in a Popeye voice. There's layers to this shit. This is a Shrek onion tattoo. I actually think this is a fantastic tattoo. I'm just very confused. Are there layers to the movie Shrek? Or are you saying there's layers to yourself? Or are you like, no, Shrek is such a complicated masterpiece. If you really read between the lines, you can see that the director was trying to tell you in 2025, a meteor will strike. Oh, I don't like this joke anymore. Here's a sock. Yeah, you got a sock tattooed, and now you get to wear these faded-ass socks all the time. I hardly wear socks when I go out, but nobody knows. And that's why my feet are disgusting, probably. Well, okay, sure, you found a solution to never having to wear socks again. Oh my god, here is a... I don't even know who this is. I guess it's just a random woman with a gun. So someone got this random woman with a gun, Toronto Maple Leafs top on, sure. But what is with this nipple placement? And I know that's not a tattoo of a nipple, but you knew where the placement was going. Like, if you were gonna have your nipple cut off part of the tattoo, you should have just incorporated it as part of the tattoo. I'm starting to think, though, that this was a cover-up tattoo, because the more I look at it, the more there's like little weird things, like this weird thick shadow going in between her boobs. I just feel like it's an unnecessary detail that was probably covering up a previous tattoo. That's just my first thoughts, when I'm like, why is it placed so bad? But really, the rest of the tattoo is good. It's a good tattoo. I like the Toronto Maple Leafs. Just, man, you're gonna have to, I don't know, you're gonna have to remove your nipple. Sorry. You want the tattoo to look better, you gotta remove your nipple. Here's an angel tattoo. Ugh, the line work in this is horrible. So jagged, and the background is just like a horrible, messy, pukey, bluish thing. And I just, I don't understand why the tombstone has a vagina. Ugh, it's a bad tattoo. Here's a fan tattoo. Oh, okay. That's a good one. Uh, I'm just gonna say right away, I don't think this one's gonna get the stamp of approval. All right. I don't want you getting your hopes up, but this one comes from Andrew who says, I bought a tattoo kit from Wish. Yes, I was that stupid. Drank a case and a half of beer, then put this monstrosity on myself. It's supposed to be the Chinese symbol for strength and have pink breast cancer ribbons, but the pink didn't show up on my skin. I did it for my mother-in-law who survived breast cancer, only instead of being the Chinese symbol for strength, it turned out looking more like a dagger made by the mentally challenged kid in the medieval blacksmith shop. Here's the thing, it's a shitty tattoo, it looks like a big black blob, like a 
like a deformed wolf howling at the moon, but it also has good meaning. So at least it has like a story and meaning, which makes it like a, like, I, I don't know. I feel like <laughs> the two things you want in a tattoo is like a good reason to get it and a good tattoo. So you did half of it. You got the good reason. I'm sorry, man, but that is a turd on your arm. You got a turd on your arm. At least it's a turd that brings awareness to breast cancer. So good job. You know what? I'm going to give you a stamp of approval anyway, because you're my fan. Yeah, let's, let's just do it. Approved. Anyway, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm going to get to editing it now, because unlike a lot of YouTubers, I don't have people to edit my videos for me, okay? It's a real struggle over here. My dogs won't do it for me. My children, their fingers are too tiny. They just end up clicking all over the computer, and then my computer's probably going to explode if I let them touch it. Well, I'll see you in the next one. Check out my, uh, check out my merch. Yeah. Link's in the description. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and uh, check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy talks, and I will see you in the next one. <gasps> Come up to your screen real quick. I gotta whisper something in your ear. <gasps> boop. Boop, 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 bo